You know what's interesting is we hear what we talk about at White Tail Habitat Solutions from hunting to habitat improvement, herd management. You know, we actually participate in that um, on almost a daily level. Um, we have our land that we own and hunt and work on here in Minnesota, and then we have land we lease in, in Wisconsin. In a different blend, we have 245 acres here. We have uh, about 30 acres of cover and 12 acres of fields that we can work with over there, 10 acres of fields, so not, not really big. Uh, lots of water holes, both locations. And of course, I hunt public land every year too. So it's kind of try to get out and do all this. We really live it. And one of the things, when we have bedding area, bedding area cuttings, water holes, food plots, mock scrapes, stand locations. A lot of times we talk about all this stuff and it can be very uh, daunting. It can be very overwhelming and it sometimes it doesn't make a lot of sense for folks. So it's very important. We'll talk about that it's critical when you make habitat improvements on your property that they all flow together and there's a rhyme and a reason for everything that you install on your land. Nothing random. So that's really, really important. Two, you learn that while you want to have the best quality feature, best water hole, best bedding area, best food plot, that the quality of those installations and habitat improvements are not as important as putting them in the right location, especially as it relates to you spooking deer out of those because a lot of people make traps. They build food plots that trap yourself to deer. Deer become actually educated and they pattern you more than you pattern them because of that habitat improvement. So critical. You don't allow that to happen. Again, nothing random with these habitat improvements. And then of course, seeing it all together, you know, Dylan does a great job of putting these together from the air. We talk about a lot of these features, not in whole. But I wanna tell you guys something. When it comes to putting all this stuff together, what we do each year is we have a charity event for Camp Kicking Bear that's a habitat day. Kicking Bear Ministries is all about getting a kid in the outdoors and then having that connection with their family to actually make a positive influence. Because we all know how great hunting can be for anybody, especially kids. They work with a lot of at-risk kids, uh, Gold Star family kids, and just kids in general that don't have a chance to do this on their own, whether it's fishing or hunting, throwing an ax, shooting, shooting a bow. And so it's an organization that we support, and we have a Habitat Day each year. Again, this year is on June 18th at 10 a.m. It's $350 per individual. We only have room for 50 people. Before you think, well, it's just a money maker for myself, it absolutely is not. We donate all proceeds, 100% proceeds, and then we're even in the hole for us because we spend money outside of this for the event to make sure it happens and comes off smoothly. We, we have porta potties here, we make sure we have lunch here, coffee in the morning, and um, but bottom line is, those 50 people pay $350 each. We, give that all to Camp Kicking Bear throughout this event. And we choose an area on the property that meets the features that we want to for the year. So I try to do a little bit different every single year. So this year, we're doing this in a certain location. It involves the, the beaver water hole, the badger plot, the badger point bedding area. And so there's a lot of features that come together in there. It's a big, nice loop that people can walk. We'll walk right through the bedding areas. You'll see how we cut this. And we're even gonna have Joel um, our timber pro, resident timber pro, he's been doing this for a long time, cutting timber. He's a, one of those timber jockeys that, for a power line company, he'd have a chainsaw around his neck and another one in his hand, and he's using tree spikes and climbing trees and using ropes and pulleys and winches to make sure that they go away from, that when he cuts, they go away from the power line. So imagine someone doing that for years and years, 250 days a year, how good they can be. And he's gonna be out here to demonstrate some of his favorite technical cuts. So that's gonna be kind of cool. He's got a huge saw that he runs that I would never even want to use, but uh, it's what he throws around on a daily basis and uh, with what he does in his, in his career. So he'll be on hand to have a couple demonstrations and we talk about some of the bedding area cuts and his favorite type of cuts to keep you guys safe. So that'd be a really cool aspect, as, aspect of this too. Uh, we encourage you, I'll skip down a little bit to bring your kids, kids are free. We usually have 25, 30 kids. Camp Kicking Bear is here to take care of the kids while moms or dads are out on the property on the habitat tour. The habitat tour is usually two and a half to three hours long. We do a small tour in the morning before lunch, but the kids are down, they have water balloon fights, marshmallow fights, tug of war. We have little kids like two years old throwing an ax into a wood target. Uh, they get to shoot bows even as young as two years old. It's pretty crazy. So it's Father's Day. 
It's supposed to be a family event. The bottom line, you get to see all this come together. And one of the cool things about this, we also offer a $100 hunt raffle. What that does is, Leo two years ago, now we have a Leo's plot. Tyler last year shot a beautiful eight point out of one of the rednecks back here, but it's for a hunt drawing to spend time with us for about three days, the end of uh, September. And we try to match that with the weather if you guys have some flexibility because we want you to come out at a really good time and actually shoot something. I'll tell you the goals this year are pretty high. It's an either an eight point buck, which we don't really care which eight point you shoot, or a five year old or older. So Dylan's usually sitting with you. And what's cool about Dylan coming is he'll come and hunt for like two days and then Dante will film the third day and get you actually taking the shot. It's Dante, <laughs> Dylan kind of warms you up. But Dylan, that's not just here. That's like an overall reputation yeah, you have. Yeah, at, you want me as like the, the warm-up guy yeah. and then you bring in the closer. <laughs> yeah, Dylan went uh, turkey hunting with Jen this morning. So I'm thinking Jen will shoot tomorrow morning. Yeah, we had some yeah. close encounters, but if you take her out tomorrow morning, you'll have one ready to be <laughs> It's, it's a guarantee. We just, we'll just show up whenever we want and shoot something. But bottom line is that's a lot of fun. We whine you and dine you and have a great time. We hang out together, campfires, and uh, Tyler and Leo become friends. Um, Tyler's actually coming with his wife to the event this year. So um, we, we really get to know these people, and it's a lot of fun, but it's $100 times 100. So it's interesting. I think Tyler only had one chance out of 100, and I think Leo was the same, maybe three chances. So three, three actual tags. So they didn't have a lot. We had someone from Pennsylvania... God bless them because they know they're donated to a good cause, but I think it was like 25 chances they had out of 100 last year, and we really thank that person that did that. But bottom line is all proceeds go to Camp Kicking Bear for that too. So we get to make new friends at the end of September, have someone hunt out on the land, and then they get to see the whole thing because we talk about what bucks are in what area. When we go to a certain stand, this is what you might see. Dante or Dylan are there saying, yeah, that's a good one to shoot this is, but any eight point narrows it down to a lot of bucks. For one thing, it could be a five-year-old, six-year-old. We have some of those this year. It's five-year-old eight point, four-year-old eight point, or, you know, something pretty big, or uh, one of those super bucks that are five years old or older that we're after. So um, that's really exciting. The event lasts from 10 a.m. to usually about 4 p.m. afternoon. We take this loop, this walking loop, that's actually right around the corner from the house here, and then we're going to show you another feature in the morning with a water hole set up and, uh, and redneck blind, something close. It's like our family blind, we call it. But then we have all the habitat plantings here with pollinator switchgrass uh, right by the house. And then after that, as long as it's dry, then we'll take a continued loop all the way around the property so that you can check out other habitat features along the way. A lot of times guys are going out and pickups, multiple people in each pickup, side by sides. So we have a lot of fun, we get around the property and then we film it all for you. So if you can't make it, watch for, we call it 50 habitat improvements or top 50 hunting improvements or 25, whatever we title it. But bottom line is you can see the whole event on the video that we create later. Ray speaks, sometimes we have shooting demonstrations. Um, we have a question and answer time so that we make sure, and I know a lot of people stay around after in a line just to talk and go over some of their questions that they have. And uh, the bottom line is Ray actually gives his testimony. He talks about why he founded Kick Camp King Bear and usually there's hardly a dry eye in the house when he does so. It's a very moving event, so it's not just about the habitat. It's not just about raising money for a good cause. It's a great family day to spend with your family. We love doing it. Um, this year, we will expect, last year, we raised uh, over $27,000 for the Camp Kicking Bear at this event, 23,000 the year before. This year, we expect well over 30. I believe we only have about 30 spots out of the 50 left. We're just now starting to push that right now. And then we have hunt raffle tickets available. We sell those here if there's any left. I also raffle off one of my personal Matthews bows. Uh, Ray and I sign it that uh, we raffle it off here at that time. Matthews, and I want to mention this, anybody that pays a $350 fee to come, huge sponsor prizes. Matthews donates a brand new bow, which I would imagine will be a phase four this year. Redneck, and I know I'm going to miss some, so I, I've, I hate going through the list like this, but Dylan, maybe you can help me. Uh, Redneck Blinds already donated a ghillie blind that's sitting up here. Tact Cam Reveal will, will donate 
reveal cameras, if not some tactic cams. Lacrosse boots donated a couple $350, $400 uh, gift cards. First Light, usually about a seven, eight, nine hundred dollar outfit that's here. Packer Max donates a Packer Max, and uh, uh, Family Tradition tree stands. Jack. Um, donated a whole tree stand set and I, unfortunately Dylan I'm, I'm forgetting some people oh hunter safety in the past has donated hunter safety uh, gear um, hanger harness and uh, a limb shield so we have a lot of products with each one of these that donate and we have sponsors coming to us we've already had donations we had one you can donate just send it to white tail habitat solutions um, you can look up on our website how to do that Jesse if you just go to the info at White Tail Habitat Solutions. She'll get you all hooked up with this and make sure to get you signed up. Um, she can tell you where to email a check to, but we are taking private donations. You've already had one donation already that's $2,500. So people see that. We we had people come to us to offer gift cards and want to be a part. Uh, Chad Garteski of Weiss Realty wanted to be a part and donate at least one high quality youth bow or gun. So I know he's doing that. I don't know the number. We have people like that coming out of the woodwork that want to be a part of this event. I even have sponsors that want this written into their contracts that they get to be a part. So it's a big event. We'll raise well over $30,000 this year for Camp Kick and Bear. And I can think of in the hunting industry, it's hard to come up with. And I know there's some good ones out there, especially when it involves military veterans, um, other people in need, Gold Star families. But when it comes to kids and getting kids in the outdoors and a good Christian organization, Kicking Bear is, is really hard to beat. And so it's something near and dear to my heart. We want to see a lot of kids at these events. That's why kids are free. And uh, so we'll say 16 and under. We'll say 15 and under, 16 and under. I don't know. Just let, just contact us and with your questions and we'll, we'll see. We even have like um, the father is coming for the event and or vice versa we've had some others come for the event and fathers stay back with the kids at camp kicking bear we're not going to charge you for both that we just need a head count of how many are coming and how many are going to go out on the habitat walk because we, we that's a limited number we don't have 100 spots it's hard for everyone to hear and get around the property so we keep that at 50 and if you have other people coming that want to help with the kids when they're around uh, just let us know and give us a heads up and we'll have plenty of food We'll have plenty of fun. We have prizes for all the kids too. And out of those 50 people, we have about 15 really high quality prizes that are worth a few hundred dollars or more a piece. And we love giving those away at the end. And I look forward to meeting each one of you. I appreciate you listening to this because this isn't the normal habitat strategy, but it's really critical that these things come together right up here. We'll talk about it. And in the end, we hope we bring it all together for you to have a beautiful day. Great day with family and kids. Learn some habitat stuff and have a moving time at a great event Event that's all about getting kids in the outdoors, hunting and fishing and leading them to a lifetime of love in the outdoors. Now, I don't know if you've checked out our main website lately, whitehabitatsolutions.com, but we've really had a lot going on, including hats, books, our web class, and certainly our new seed company, WHS Wildlife Blends. When you click on seed on our site, it'll take you right to our brand new site for the seed company. We have all 12 blends available. So check it all out though. I encourage you, I appreciate you checking it out. Whether you buy anything or not, really appreciate you visiting the site and uh, seeing what's going on and continue to watch because we have big things coming later this year.